Hi everyone, Jenny here with a tutorial on how to make um, the Michaels paper bags that the US gals can get um, but using pattern paper and your scoreboard um, I saw this well a similar way of doing this with on YouTube, um, someone from Facebook posted a link to the YouTube channel, and I'll put the um, link down below. Um, I won't even pronounce the name. Um, she did a fantastic job. No scoreboard, just folding the paper and, and using a bone folder. It was just amazing. So that just got me thinking, and I, what I did was I unraveled if I can find it one of the Michael's paper bags opened it all up placed it on the scoreboard checked where the score lines were and these things how they worked the corner bits and and then just took it from there so I'm going to show you how to do it two well one way but one using two pieces of designer paper and the next way is out of um, using just brown paper you know just you, the rolls of brown paper you get just like the brown paper like the stuff you use to or what we used to use to um, cover our school books with not the stuff they use today all right let's get started so I've got a 12 by 12 piece of single sided paper here you can use double sided but you're not going to see the inside of it um, right so I'm going to cut this down to 10 and 5 8 inches 10 and 5 8 okay so that, end, that ends up being 12 by 10 and 5 8 your next piece that's probably preferably to be the same pattern cut it down to four and five eighths first and then cut that down to ten and five eighths okay put your scoreboard away now finished with that. Alright, now we need to join these two pieces of paper. I'm going to have them overlapping a half an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put double sided tape on the right side on one of the 10 and, a, 10 and 5 8 inch edges. So on the right hand side of that 12 by 10 and 5 8 inch piece of paper. And then on your four and five eighth inch paper, just turn it over and apply your double sided tape to the back side of it along the left hand edge. Okay, remove your tape backing. Uh, first off, what I might do is give myself a guide because we want to overhang these um at a half an inch so i'm just going to take my timmy ruler and just under that half inch there because you've got the thickness of your um your pencil line to go on so i just do it so that the line is just off that the off the edge so there we go done the line you're not going to see it Remove your tape backing from both pieces. And this is probably the hardest part to this album is trying to line it up. So that's the sticky side there. I'm going to stick it down here, but I want to stick it just on that line 
line it up edge to edge. There. Okay. That's it there. Now, get our scoreboard out now. Bone folder. Now our this now becomes 16 and 1 8 inches long, I think. Let me check. Just to make sure. Okay, 15. Oh, actually it doesn't. Have I? Oh yeah, 15 and a half, 16 and 1 8 of an inch. That's it. Okay. 16 and 1 8 of an inch. Doesn't matter if you've gone over or under slightly. It's going to be hidden anyway. We've got an, a, about an inch to spare for it to overlap anyway. So that's fine. All right. Now the scoring positions. We're going to score at 1 and 1 eighth, 2 and a half, 3 and 7 eighths, and we go over to 8 and 5 eighths, and then we're going over, oops, to 10 inches, and then 11 and 3 eighths, and that's just inside, just before that join. Oh, where are we? Can't see too well. Where is it? See it is. Yeah, can't even see the join there. All right. Oh, okay, so this side you've got three small sections that you've scored and on the right hand side you've got the large section here. Turn it so that your three small sections are up at the top. So you've got your one and one eighth, your next one and your next one. So we scored it this way first. So then we're going to turn it to the right once and position it there at the top and we're going to make two score lines. One, we're going to make it one and three quarter inches. Now, obviously this paper is longer than the scoreboard so I'm just going to go to the end there and then I'm not going to finish it off yet. I'm going to go over to the three and one eighth inch mark, score down. Then I'm going to lift my paper up and place it back down with your edge to the left there and continue those score lines down. You can see them where you've done the previous one. So that's it for your scoreboard. Now all of this is just folding and taping, not even any cutting. Okay, so let's take, well, I'm doing the three shorter, narrower um, folds first. So we're just folding those over burnishing them. Now I'm not going to do the second one just yet, so the middle one there, I'm going to go to the next one and fold it over. And then I'm going to bring that middle one back so there's a concertina happening there. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it around to the other end. I'm going to fold that long Flap over, open it up, we're going to miss the middle one there and we're going to fold over the next one. And then we're going to bring this middle fold back like that. And that is the start of your paper bag. Okay. So we'll open it up now. We need to reinforce or fold those bottom two scored lines over. Facing you so that um, you've got 
your three smaller folds here and just fold them over into the concertina and do the same to the other. Um, okay, so then this side one just slots in there and sits underneath that one there. Okay, just like that. So what we need to do is place, we have to join that. So I'm going to put some tape, double side tape on that edge, the edge of that little flap, and then on the top edge of that large section there. So open it up. So that thing folds over there like that, and you'll see you've got your little flaps there. Okay, so double sided tape, and all I do is run a strip along that shorter edge on the inside, and then a strip on the top there. There. Yes, that's got to go under there like that. Okay, so. I'm always second guessing myself with this. I've made about six so far. Alright, now I'm going to remove the tape backing from both pieces. Both sides, sorry. And now I'm going to position it so that I've got that concertina there, but this flap's sticking up. Got this one concertina there. So I'm going to lay this down, slot it in there, and then just fold that over. Stick it down. And then you've got the start of your paper bag. Okay, so now what we need to do is reinforce these bottom um, score lines. So let's just fold that up. Now, the paper weight makes a huge difference to these. This is a good thickness. It's not thick, it's not too thin, it's not a good quality paper. But um, when I was streaming earlier on this evening, showing the girls what I've come up with, um, we tried it on thick, good designer paper, and it, it um, actually splits. Um, and I've done it on the thin. So this way you get a medium grade paper, designer paper. Even They even suggested a wrapping paper, which would be nice. Okay. Um, right, so we've reinforced those two folds there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to work on these folds here. So what we're going to do, I'll just zoom in for this. Okay, so we're going to work on these two sections here. So we'll bring that up there like that. And then open this up. Now these at the back here, we just want to work that so bring this side down so you can see the lines in there and you can see a triangular point starting to form. Now you're not going to see it too well with the white in here but when I do it with the brown paper you'll be able to see it more clearly. You can, you can see the um, sort of see the triangle in there so just really pressing those seams down okay do the same to the other side so again we're just separating in here we're separating these here we're pushing this top scored section down like that and just making a triangular shape in there okay so that's what we've got so far now what we want to do is we want to fold these sides over so that the score line there meets that um, join that line in there and then press those folds over really well. Okay, we do the same to the other side. 
So bring it over so that those scored lines all line up and then burnish well. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring these over, reinforce those score lines and that one and reinforce those. Okay, open them back up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some double-sided tape. I'm going to put some on the pattern side, just on that straight edge of that triangle there. But I'm going to put it on the inside where that white section is on the edge. Just there like that. I'm going to remove the tape backing at this stage because I need to work quick when I put the wet glue on. Okay. So open them back up, get your wet glue, and on all these little tri these four triangle pieces here, here and here, that's where we're going to put the wet glue. Now be very careful when you're applying this wet glue so that you don't put too much so that it seeps out everywhere and, and joins bits and pieces that shouldn't be joined together. So when you fold it down and seal it, it doesn't all stick together on you and the glue doesn't seep out so that's all we're trying to do is get enough on it so it's going to adhere but that it won't seep out everywhere okay so just fold that bottom one up and then fold the top one down over it and that's seeped out a bit again. but that's okay all right just working that so that that glue really adheres to each side. Now I'm going to quickly open up, make sure that it hasn't seeped everywhere. Feels good. Okay, so that then becomes your Michael's paper bag. paper bag and here's the one we just made how easy is that all right let's get the brown paper and I've actually cut this to, to the right size so there's no joins in this so and the size again I'll have um, instructions and dimensions up on my blog and I'll put the link below um, probably won't be till tomorrow all right, long side along the top of your scoreboard. Now with brown paper, particularly this one I've got, you can get various grades of the brown paper. Um, I just have, don't have a stronger one here at the moment. Just be careful um, when you're scoring it with your bone folder. All right, so one and one eighth of an inch. Two and a half. Three and seven eighths, and then we're going over to eight and five eighths, and then ten inches, and then eleven and three eighths. Oops. All right, turn it to the right once so that you've got your three smaller sections at the top. And then we're going to score it at one and three quarter inches and three and one eighth. Okay, move it up and find those lines and continue those down. Okay, finished with your scoring board and now we need to just fold it.
antenna. Now this is where you'll probably be able to see better these triangles. So all I'm doing is putting my fingers in the back there, what, opening that area up so that this inside opens up to form that triangle piece there. So all we're doing is getting all the um, corners lined up and that triangle made there. Side nice and straight. Okay, so you got that triangle section. So again, opening this up, spreading it out, and then oops, a bit too far there. What's going on here? There we go. There, there. So that it sits down like a little box. Just like that. Okay. is that now you'll see here where that join is there where we folded it over now the reason I folded it over on top was if we didn't we'd have this one on top and it had the raw edge at the bottom and I think it, it'd get it'd just be an um it'd get in the road it'd catch on things I think and that's why because you can actually put your design paper all over that and you won't see that join so that was the reasoning behind putting the join the small piece on top rather than the long piece over the top. But there you go. Done. Two bags in such a short time. So there they are there. And there's the Michaels. Okay, have fun with it and I'll have my, the instructions and dimensions up on my blog tomorrow um, and I'll put the links down below. So thanks for watching everyone and don't forget to go and check out that lady that I that inspired these bags um, for me. So and I'll put her link below as well. So, bye everyone. Mm -hmm.